Uh-oh, I got some more information for you. You see this? I want to read it to you because some of you people are silly rabbits. Tricks are for kids. This is not a game. You say you believe in the Bible and you go to church every Sunday. Ah, but you do not read which fat you say you believe in. So what do you believe in? And you don't even know what you believe in because you don't read the manuscript. The manuscript is the Bible. Do you read it? Or do you go to church every Sunday with a nice big hat on and sit there and say hi to everybody and then go home and act like the devil and do wrong and then go to Sunday and act like you're right and then leave Sunday and go right and do wrong again? When will you stop? So this is Jesus speaking in the Bible. Everything in red is Jesus speaking. You all know this, don't you, saints? Because you read, the Bible said, study to show yourself approved. Do you do that? But don't be mad at me because I do. You go to a church on Sundays and listen to one man who, who spoon feeds you the Bible and you give him all your money out your purse or out your wallet. And he goes to buy a Bentley. Ha! Foolish people and foolish preacher. You're slick with your words, you false prophets. You're not supposed to be selling the word of God. It's in the Bible. Jesus went into the church and told the church down. Why do you people think that they made you think that Jesus and the disciples were soft. You silly rabbits. They had swords. Do you think that they cut sword they had swords to cut apples off the apple tree, silly rabbit? No, they had swords cuz those were guns back in the days. They were ready for war. They were not pacifists. Okay? Now here we go. Out the Bible. You see it? Turn to me, will you please? Matthew chapter 10 verse 34. Do you have it? Here we go. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Uh, you chop off people's heads with swords, but y'all think it's peaceful. No, when God rides back up in his people like he rose up in me again, you think I'm supposed to be humble. No, I'm supposed to be humble, yes. See, y'all get it twisted. When the spirit of God rises up in you, that's when you're supposed to be humble because you have a power now that no one else has. So now you have to be humble with the power. Silly rabbits. Here we go again. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. For I come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, even wives sometimes. Look at Job. Job, in the book of Job, he went through what he went through, and his wife told him, why don't you curse God? He said, woman, get away from me. But don't take it from Johnny. Read the Bible. Don't you believe in it? Well, read it. And a man's foes should be there of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Now you see that, what I just read to you, and it's not me. Let me get my picture back here, the black man with the wife on his back and the baby. You dig? Huh. Okay, because I need that. You know, oh, my camera. Well, you see that, but you see that. God is not coming to bring peace upon the earth upon the return. You see that in the Bible, correct? You see that it says, I have not come to bring peace upon the earth, but I come to bring a sword. This is the sword. The truth is the sword and also literal sword. Peter in the Bible, you all probably didn't read the book like I did. Maybe you watched the movie called Passion of the Christ. And if so, you remember when Peter pulled out his sword and chopped the man ear off. Wow, that sounds like a goon. Why do you think they was weak? The Bible says the righteous are bold as a lion. Lions test it up. See, you get tricked to be soft and watered down and pacified. And then you let people come into your life and you're supposed to believe in God, but you believe in Barack Obama or you believe in the preacher that you go to church on Sunday, but your own Bible tells you put your faith in no man. But you do. And you follow them and you give them your money. And you fall and you slip and it's your fault because you're not supposed to honor no man Upon the earth more than you honor God. So go home and read for yourself. Why you run into church? To a lot, a lot of men. Oh, you don't understand it? Why don't you? But if, you, if you're a true tribe of God, it's in your, it's in better than you already. So do you need the help? Or are you searching for something that you don't know that you know? 
because you've been taught to go to church. You've been taught to call yourself a Christian. You've been taught all these things and you never get out of the box of your own mind. You are a prisoner in your own self. The meaning of life is to free yourself from yourself. That's the meaning of life. You got it? I just told you what it is. You have to free yourself from yourself. Deep. Remember that. Salah. Here's the word. I'll leave it there. Read it for yourself. Don't take it from me. And with that, I ask that the Most High God adds a blessing to the reading upon his word. And all those who have ears, let them hear. And all those who have eyes, let them see. Spiritual eyes and spiritual ears. And there you have it. Salah.